guys, welcome to Demetra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make vanilla pudding from scratch. It's really easy and I highly recommend making it. It tastes a billion times better than that cornstarchy, artificially flavored stuff that they sell in the supermarket. I promise it's super easy and it's such a versatile dish, you can make a million desserts with it. What you're going to need is some cornstarch, a little bit of salt, a little bit of unsalted butter, pure vanilla extract, sugar, whole milk, a little bit of heavy cream, and some egg yolks. That's it. So we're going to begin by heating up some of the ingredients. We're going to begin with the milk. Let me turn the heat on. The cream, this makes a pretty big batch and I love making trifles with this in the summer. Fruit trifles are so, so good and you can really make them with any kind of fruit. And this vanilla pudding really, really takes it to the next level. So we're going to put some heavy cream, the sugar, the cornstarch and the salt. And we're going to heat it until it begins to thicken and it coats the back of a spoon. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. So while you're heating it, you want to make sure to keep stirring it with a whisk. Uh, so that way, you know, the cornstarch doesn't settle to the bottom and burn and just, you know, ruin the pudding. So I'm going to keep stirring this for a while. It's going to take about 10 minutes on a medium, he medium heat. And then I'll show you once it starts to thicken how it should look before we temper the eggs and add them in here. Okay, so my... Uh, milk and all the ingredients that I put together have thickened nicely and it's they've been cooking for about 10 minutes on a medium heat and when it coats the back of a spoon so coats the back of a spoon means when you you know put your spoon in and you run your finger down the back it stays separate it just forms that line then it's ready so I'm just gonna take it off the heat for a few seconds and I'm just gonna beat my egg yolks for like two, three minutes until they're really nice and pale and frothy. All right, so my eggs are ready to be tempered. I'm gonna add a ladleful at a time to my eggs and whisk them. I'm gonna do that two, three times until the bowl feels pretty warm. And then I know that our, my eggs temperature have risen and they won't scramble when they get in here. Because scrambled eggs and pudding is not what you want. Okay, so I'm going to add my tempered eggs to the pudding and I'm just going to cook it for two to three minutes to kind of pasteurize the eggs and thicken this a little more. And we're going to do that in a medium to low heat, constantly stirring and it's going to thicken up even more and already look at the color. It already looks like vanilla pudding but we still need to add the butter and the vanilla extract and then we'll be done. Okay, so now we're just going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter and that's going to add another level of richness and it's going to make it really nice and silky. And I have my heat off and I'll add my vanilla extract. So this is a big batch of pudding and I'm making this pudding because I'm going to put up a recipe of a strawberry uh, fruit trifle which will be up. Look for that in the next few days. And so I'm adding my vanilla extract, so about four spoons of this. And I hardly ever measure when I'm using vanilla extract. It's one of my favorite flavors. And this is just pretty much a base recipe for a pudding. So you can definitely add a little bit. You could do half and half, half vanilla, half almond. If you like orange essence, go ahead and do that. You can pretty much um, create your own favorite flavor pudding. But this is just a basic vanilla pudding that's comforting and delicious and just super rich. And once you eat this, you'll never be able to eat that other ready-made pudding ever again. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this through my strainer and this is an important step that you don't want to make, miss because sometimes there are like hard bits in this pudding from the cornstarch that may have overcooked or maybe some bits of egg that sort of scrambled and this is just going to catch everything and make your pudding ultra smooth and it's going to be very very nice and like professional. So don't skip this step, it's important. I'm just going to help it with my spatula. At, that's it. This pudding is ready. And you know what? I love it. Just warm too. Sometimes it tastes even better warm. But, you know, we need to cool this. And it's going to need to cool for about four hours. 
Once it comes to room temperature, you're going to want to put it in your refrigerator and cool it four hours or overnight until it's nice and cold. And then serve it as is with some fruits or drizzle some chocolate on it. Put some chopped nuts and you're good to go. You can get the recipe on www.demetrasdishes.com. Make it and I'd love to hear what you thought of it. So I'm putting this plastic on top so it doesn't form a skin. That's it. This, this, once this pudding is cooled down, it's going to be the best pudding you've ever had in your whole entire life, I promise. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.